Wander and Zhao have been compared for the past few weeks since Wander's release in the last version, and now with Zhao's banner, people want to know who is truly the better DPS character, and I hope this video will shed a little bit of light on that. Today, I will be comparing my Wander and my Zhao. My Wander is running a R4 Witsith with 4 Pishimunawa at Constellation 0 with 8, 7, and 6 talents. These are his stats. My Xiao is running a very similar build with an R5 Missive Wind Spear, 2P Shimonawa, 2P Glad, C0, and 7, 5, and 7 talents, and this is his ratio. My Scaramouche is a very slightly better build. First, let's compare their damage against the Cryo Righteous Vine to see how quickly they can execute our favorite Lettuce Friend. As you can probably tell by the end of that clip, I was pretty angry at my crit RNG with Scaramouche. I had like 60 crit rate, but he decided to not crit like 6 times in a row, which did make me pretty mad. That being said, both of these characters did have very similar performance in this specific fight, with Xiao eking forward just a little bit. This is a good time to tell you guys to please subscribe despite having a psychology test. Tomorrow I am here working on this video because I have no life and I really just want to make this video you know so please subscribe. I would really appreciate you if you would do that. I hope I didn't sound too pretentious saying that. Now that we have that snip out of the way, let's see how good they do. Their solo damage is against a multi-phase boss fight, the Magu Kenki. For both of these fights, I'll be using Diona for elemental application to get Zhao's weapons passive as well as Scaramouche's passive up. This was a very embarrassing Xiao run because of mostly my skill issue and because the Mago Genki is an actual shitter. That being said, my Scaramouche did overall win this because he does not have any energy issues without a full team. So yeah, I guess that's it. Next up, we'll see an AoE team showcase for both these characters against the Dendro Domain. There are a few things I'd like to say about this next showcase. 
that I will also highlight in the showcase. So I'll say that after you guys actually watch it. For both of these next two showcases, I'll be using a the same Bennett and Farzan for both teams. So keep that in mind. I'm sure the Xiao mains are furious at this because Scaramouche got venti. Though I will say something about Scaramouche, and that is the Witsit is all RNG. I had two runs prior to this where I got the EM buff, and obviously the EM buff is not the best for Scaramouche, so that was pretty sad, especially because I had used all my supports and bursts before I swapped into Scaramouche. So I had to run it three times, and that took me about 30 minutes just to get this one Scaramouche run. Meanwhile, this Zhao run was pretty straightforward. One thing, I was using TDDS Sucrose in this showcase, and obviously, like I told you before, my Bennett and Farzan are the same. The fact that with the Wits and Scaramouche is very RNG dependent, and that Zhao cannot use Venti, and because Farzan buffs Animo, Venti actually does a very good amount of damage in this team. Both of these are very, very, very big downsides of these characters. Also, I was pretty lucky in the Zhao run because the enemies decided to not stagger outside of Zhao's range. And because Zhao's plunges have a decent amount of stagger and I did not position myself correctly, I was also pretty lucky. The next fight we have is a full team against a very chunky overall target, the Primo Geo Bishop. My Scaramouche will not be using a shielder and will rather make use of Yun Jin. Before you guys come at me, yes, I did this. I did try this with the shielder, and yes, it was worse than this specific run. I was pleasantly surprised because even with the engine, Scaramouche still fell behind, though I do think it could have been more closer if I had better RNG with his A4 passive, so I could have actually dashed a little bit more. Because a lot of the time I dashed and I just consumed stamina instead of consuming his A4 passive which was pretty unlucky. That being said, both these characters were very close in performance. In summary, despite both these characters not being exactly ideal, they are very solid DPS characters that are very very close to each other in performance. You should not regret pulling for any of them if you like them, and I will say I had equal amounts of fun with both characters. I did think Zhao would be more fun, but once I got him, it's just kind of pressing space and clicking, which makes him seem more fun than he actually is, so keep that in mind if you want to pull for him. One more thing, 
and it's that I didn't use the low plunge jet charged attack whatever the hell it is combo with Xiao in this specific fight because the plunge through hitbox which is not the high low punch multiplier it's the other one actually hit decently consistently against the primordial bishop so it's actually better to just spam high plungers in this case one other thing is that in this little damage showcases when Xiao had to get his burst up he did quite lose when there is more than one rotation and when it is just Zhao versus Gamush without any other supports helping them get his burst back up, Zhao falls behind quite a bit due to his burst locked DPS and him having decent particle generation does help a bit with that. On top of that, because of the weapon I'm using, even though it is technically better than the Blacklift, the fact that I have to swirl before I actually start attacking it's quite annoying because that means his first E does not do that much damage and the buff from that weapon also runs out halfway in between which does get mediated if I am running Sucrose and if I do swirl a Sucrose with Pyro which is what I did during the multi-phase boss fight. So yeah, all of these need to be taken into consideration in this DPS showdown. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, and share this with your friends because I am still at less than 100 subscribers and I would like to reach that goal ASAP. Without any further ado, I'll see you guys next time. And I'm just gonna let the song play out because whatever.